guys, Tim with Defense Mechanisms. I want to spend a few minutes today taking a look at our new uh, angled pouch adapters. We're offering these angled pouch adapters in both a uh, 40 degree, which has become really popular, and a 90 degree, which we'll show you in a few minutes why we like. Uh, these pouch adapters are both made out of uh, 6160 T6, hard anodized aluminum. And when you get these, they'll come with one of our Molly Plus belt loops, which you can run either hook out or loop out, depending on your application, and a long piece of one wrap that we'll use to uh, attach the adapter to the pouch. Uh, let's take a look at how to do that right now. All right, when you're ready to mount the uh, pouch adapters, what you need to do is you need to select your pouch adapter. We're gonna, let's mount the 40 degrees, so we'll get the 90 out of here. You need a pouch. This is a pistol pouch, but you can use this adapter with any single row Molly pouch. Uh, it doesn't work really good with two row pouches like a rifle mag, but there's a pistol mag, OC spray, baton, flashlight pouch, you name it. Uh, it works really good with single row pouches. It works great with our pouches, uh, but realistically should work with anybody's Molly pouch. And so uh, with the 40 degree adapter, you have to decide which direction you want it to be angled. So for most right-handed shooters who are gonna be pulling a pistol mag with their left hand, they'll wanna set it up, uh, label up the, the logo, DM logo in the 40 degrees up. If I set it up like that, it will be canted off uh, to the left to make it really easy for me to grab with my left hand. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread the, one the long one wrap into the pouch adapter from both directions. Get it relatively evened up, but it doesn't really matter yet. And the way this is gonna install is I'm gonna trap it into this, this middle row of Molly here. This is a, a three inch high pouch, it's got three rows. If, if this was a standard Molly, there'd be just a gap here. I'm gonna trap it in the gap. And so I'm gonna use a tool. You can use a big pen, a tongue depressor, a jimmy bar. I'm today gonna to use a shove knife. Because, I mean, why not use cool tools, right? Uh, this, the tool helps you just bypass the one wrap in our pouches. You might not need a tool depending on whose pouches you're using. And I'm gonna to choose to install this so when, when I'm all said and done, the loop side of the Velcro will be the side that's up and I won't have any hook to catch on me or my gear or anything like that. Uh, so to do that, I have to start hook up. And so I'm gonna take a minute and I'm just gonna feed the, the pouch up into the first row, or excuse me, not the pouch, but the one wrap, up into the first row with the shove knife. And I'm gonna pull that through tight. And now, it gets a little tricky because the pouch adapter is trying to keep everything immobilized. So I'm actually going to run the shove knife up from the back. So I can try to get this Velcro on reef. This is probably the most complicated part is it's just a little bit of wiggling and squiggling as required here, but uh, not that big a deal. Once I've got it in there, uh, I want to make sure that right now you can see there's kind of a bubble. In my, in my one wrap, it's a little bit loose. And so I'm gonna go back in with my shove knife and I'm gonna make sure that I have everything pulled tight in each direction. Break that contact with the Velcro, or the one wrap, excuse me, so that everything's nice and tight. And just do that one more time until it's perfectly snug. Really briefing on it is good. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up my one wrap belt loop and I'm gonna set this up for an inner outer belt, so I want the hook to be on the outside when I'm done. And so I'm gonna go loop face up to now, and I'm gonna start threading through the bottom of the adapter, pull out just a little bit, go to the top of the adapter, pull out just a little bit. It helps to have flexible pouches in this case, because I can just bend the pouch out of the way to feed that one wrap in. And now I just have to kind of even this up, and I typically use the, there's a, uh, shirt protector sewn on our belt loops. I typically use that as a guide on the top. I'll fold the pouch out of the way, push it up so the shirt adapter is about to the to the top of the belt loop here, the, the adapter. At this point, I'm going to fold down the long one wrap fingers, attaching them to the belt loop. And then anything extra, I'm going to use my tool to really adhere down inside the pouch so that I have a really strong attachment. So from here now, this will attach just like any of our regular pouches. We grab a belt. Um, just like any of our pouches, now instead of the finger, the, the belt loop coming off of the pouch, it's just coming off of the adapter. So I'm, I like to wrap up real tight and then down real tight. And now this has changed the angle of this pouch to 40 degrees. 
and it, obviously it's going to move a little bit. There's a little bit of wiggle. Um, I actually find that beneficial. I can really fine tune the angle that I want it to be at. Um, but it's plenty firm. Mags come in and out easy. Um, the 90 degree adapter works exactly the same way. Just the difference is uh, instead of mounting the pouch at a 40 degree angle, it mounts, mounts a vertical pouch horizontal um, for if, if that's your speed. Well guys, hopefully I was able to answer any questions that you might have about our pouch adapter, um, how to install it, and how it works. If you have any questions, anything I missed, anything you need to know, hit us up at contact at Defense Mechanisms, uh, Instagram, Facebook, follow us on social, all the internets and whatnots. Um, please subscribe to our newsletter, all that shit. Um, love you guys. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you at the next one.